Ascension Pioneers. I'm cycling today and I decided to record a very short video because I'm low on battery. But I wanted to share something about Ascended Light Master Beings and um, our new path of Enlightened Ego because I like to, um, you know, see the comments that people are putting under my posts. And a lot of times people say, you know, my ego and, um, you know, my ego is this way. I know about my ego. And um, I want to share something about the ego in the new, although in the new, you don't even fit the label ego into this, what's your experience anymore. Because what what is happening is, you know, you have the spirit self, the soul self, which is kind of like the bridge. And you can see that in the teachings of the master, ascended masters, you know, the column of light, um, the master self uh, is, you know, in the middle, and then you have the spirit self. So. Um, you have your personality body as you know it right now. It's who you are. You walk this physical plane of existence. But what is happening during your transition and ascension is your ego is becoming enlightened. So this is your enlightened ego. This is no longer like your separate ego. So when, when you talk about things like my ego is this way, my soul is this way, you still live in, in a bit of a separation because you haven't yet fully merged this aspect. Or you have, but you're just still not bringing it into your physical experience on all levels. You still like to say, my ego is this way. So in the new, it's really important that you're aware that your soul self is, is embodied. So you become your soul personality. And your ego is just like, you don't even use the word ego anymore, you know, because it's so limiting. It's not what this is. When something becomes a new experience, it no longer has that name. Like a caterpillar becomes the butterfly, it's no longer a caterpillar, right? So it becomes like this aspect of you that is soul in a personality embodied at this time. So your enlightened ego is, is kind of like a bridge uh, to, to download your spirit self into this physical life. You still have an individual, individuality aspect. You still have your preferences, but it's a bit different. You don't, you don't feel this as separate. It's one with your soul. It, it receives direct directions from your soul and it's no longer conditioned by the labeling patterns and you know judgments and preconditions that are very much of the old and the negative. Like this condensed energy around you, which we are not. So you become this fully transparent being and you don't, know, you don't no longer even think about terms of ego. So this is something really important to address here. If you're still using that, you know, my ego self, my soul self, Try to bridge that, try to merge that in, in your conscious awareness when you live your daily life. It's already happening. It happens in, on the higher planes and then it descends down. As you know, we ascend and we descend and it's all one experience. Also, one thing really important to mention before I run out is um, the ascended master beings, the beings of light. Yesterday I was reading like the short paragraph. I like, you know, I don't really read. I just, I'm out there in nature receiving my own guidance from my I am. But sometimes I, I catch these little paragraphs and there was this writing about, from Dolor, Dolores Cannon books, about, you know, what's happening now and us serving on higher planes of existence, which we already do, but some of us descending as volunteer souls here in matter and assisting also in the physical aspect of this creation at this time, which is very important because the circle is completing and how the person described this in the trans state of that of hypnosis was a new experience becomes, but, but, but it, you know, each one of us is, is going to attune to what's really our experience in the new, because everybody's in, in their own embracing of spirit. It was shared in a beautiful way, like I always say, there's no separation between who we are, um, there's just different um, experiences, and what was shared was that we're all one spirit, but it's it just how much you embrace that spirit. So it's not your lower, higher in, in that terms. It's just how much you embrace that. So beings who are ascended master beings, they're, assi um, they're assisting this plane, but they're not just doing it from the higher planes of existence, which we can attune to when we open up to that energy. Not everybody is yet to tune to this light, like it was shared in the book. Not everybody can receive because they're not even open to that integration. So they haven't embraced this part. But we, Ascension Pioneers, we know this path and we know why we're walking a path of our own illumined self. So it's really important why I talk so much now about the self-mastery because we are becoming this. We're becoming these beings. But um, Ascended Master beings are the beings who have gone through this. And I've shared this in my first writing ever, which was called, you know, uh, Ascension Pioneers. And it just explained the dynamics of this path who we are and it's those who have done it before so they explain these are not angels it's not the same because these beings have knowledge of this process so that is why you know I'm always guided to share this because I have that exact same knowledge 
you guide a certain group of people, of soul, not people, but souls who are ready to embrace this experience now. And as I walk my path, you know, not everybody will be a part of this experience because they're tuning into something else. So how it was explained in that book was really beautiful. A circle is coming complete on this planet, but people will go, you know, souls will go different directions where they're comfortable at. So when something completes, a new level opens up, and this is what's happening now, but we're gonna still choose. So this is what physical ascension is about, it's a choice. And I always say this in my videos. And we're working a lot with self-masters now, with, um, self-mastery now and ascended master beings. I posted a reading with masters this week, uh, my weekly guidance, check that out. I need to go because my battery is really low. Um, I like to do shorter videos now because I'm enjoying my nature and the mountains, as you know. I explain also in my latest blog what the mountains really are, you know, how you perceive this pure ethereal light there. It's undamaged, it's untainted, it's not distorted from all this external and, you know, the, the governing, the manipulation, all these denser aspects. So it's very pure there. So you're very much connected with that pure light. And that is why part of my purpose is also eventually I'm going to lead to nature sacred mountain gatherings. So uh, I will be sharing lots more about this and how this affects us in our physical ascension. So stay tuned. There's always more with me, you know that. And uh, so many blessings and so much love, wisdom, and power as always. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh, beloved ones. I'm speechless. I just found heaven on earth. Here is this path which I took towards this new lake. It's in Carbon Lake. That's why it's white and turquoise. Oops. Look, I will take you all here someday when you come to my retreats. I'm still collecting the trails. There's nobody here. I'm thinking about going to the water naked. <laughs> That's totally not like me, but you just got to stay open to the beauty of... This is just so pristine. And when I saw it, I couldn't believe I actually made the wrong turn first and went up this steep hill. I saw a baby deer, which was kind of like a gift in itself. Can you imagine nobody's here because it's not summer yet? There's going to be vacations, probably going to be different. But this is like the, the, the magical fairyland, can you see? It's... Ah... Oh, this is this is where <laughs> is the place to be. Oh, look at the big fish there. It's a huge fish there. Two of them, actually. Oh my gosh. Yep. One. First one. Second one. This is just... I really am speechless. I think that I will go try to water how warm it is and um, just see. I'm actually really, really, really running out of battery, so I hope this doesn't just interrupt me. So let's see. Let's see the water. <gasps> wow, it's perfect for swimming and it's just June. It looks like I'm gonna be <laughs> trying out something new today. So guys, wish me luck. And I hope to see you here one day soon, together in our circle of trust. And um, that's all for now.